Hello and welcome back to another pricey HD video. Today we have another career episode of The Classics with the Birmingham City Legends. This had a brilliant start to the series. Your reception on it was fabulous. Make sure you go ahead and click the like button on this video. If we can get to as many likes as possible, I'm not really sure how many, just do it as many times as possible to get the next episode out as soon as possible. Now, just whilst you've been away, um, I did just simulate through the three friendlies as they were a bit less necessary. We won 3-0 against the Senna, uh, then against the Spaniel, won 2-1, and then against uh, Ibar, we won 5-0. In fact, Francis got a 10.0 rating out of that game when I checked on the player uh, squad statistics. Now, um, we've got this month now, uh, Hull City, Tottenham Hotspur and Sunderland are the teams that we are up against in this month, which, well, isn't a bad lineup. I mean, the obvious one to choose is Tottenham out of this lot because one, we're away against Tottenham, we're at home against these other two teams, Hull and Sunderland, and they are, well, Hull in real life now is in the championship, and Sunderland are in relegation trouble in every season, it seems, at the moment, and they're not exactly. Tottenham's uh, calibre at the moment so it seems we'll be playing Tottenham away at White Hart Lane and that will be that for this episode also though I did just want to uh, notify Francis has gone up a rating um, can't do anything about increases from players statistically and unfortunately our right back has got injured uh, where is he who is his name there we go Womack brilliant right back and he's gone and got himself injured a training injury one does not go a whole entire season without a training injury do they so we've had to bring Hall in instead um, and he will hopefully do a decent job there only 78 rated but he should be okay so we've got the whole city game let's go ahead and simulate it so we've got a massive break in between games, so it's fine and fair to simulate with our first team squad. We'll see how this plays out. Hopefully we can get a win on our debut game in the Premier League season. Oh my god, Govan's on a red card, not the greatest of starts of course. And still nil-nil, I would expect a win from this game, I'm not going to lie. Forcell's got the goal, that is what we're looking for, Mikel Forcell. 1-0 up, even with 10 men, Ben has come on, which is nice to see. Oh no! Oh my god, they equalised, but a minute after Pendry, the centre back got a goal, and then we've got another injury. We have been really unlucky. Two injuries and a red card. Let's see whether we can actually hope to say it is three days. Merrick is okay. He's back in three days. We don't have to play Foster. I wouldn't mind playing Foster, I suppose. But then Govern has got a one match ban. Okay, not the best, um, but the three month injury from Womack is probably the worst still so far let's go ahead and advance to the Tottenham game so this is the squad we're going to line up with against Tottenham Hotspur um, live commentary as well hopefully I can do well live coming Merrick is in goal along with Pendry and Dan in centre backs we've got our two substitute wing backs uh, or full backs which isn't preferable Zigic has made his way onto the bench due to default we can't put Ronaldinho, Iniesta and Terry on there and our two other players Govan and Womack are injured and suspended so um, we've got a very striker full bench, no defenders on the bench, which is really why we need to unlock Terry as soon as possible. So it's the first ever match with this Birmingham City team competitively in the Barclays Premier League in the Classics series. Um, a nice little mini-series and hopefully we're set up for a nice victory here. Our commentators are Martin Tyler and Alan Smith, of course, as usual. Um, the Tottenham Hotspur side, well, it's decent, but uh, nothing... Uh, nothing out of the world, so it, it is winnable. It is very winnable, I'm sure of it. And it is a game that we can win. I mean, look at our team, the likes of Trevor Francis, players like that. I think it's a game where we could win. It could go either way. Good work from Francis. Larson picks up the ball. Gardner now. Gardner stretches it to Granger. Granger into Gardner. Gardner's. Pass is intercepted. Harry Kane could be in here. We need a good recovery from Pendry. It's not a very good one from Pendry. Our defence is all over the place. Scott Dan goes in for the challenge. Maybe a bit of a breakaway. A bit of a foul, surely. Tottenham Hotspurs midfielder there, I believe. No, it was their left back, Danny Rose, brought my Mikel Forsell down. And um, it is still nil-nil, but the free kick is on the cards. 
We'll take it short though, looking for Tate. Tate goes wide towards Hall. Our substitute right back who's getting the first team appearance due to suspension into Larson. Granger, Granger can hit them! And it was Loris who pulled out the wonders for Tottenham Hotspur. No Granger can hit them. He's brilliant at set pieces. And uh, so is Larson at corners. Hopefully we can pick out a man in the middle. It was a brilliant ball in. And we've got an injury. Don't say. Don't say. Oh no. What is going on in the injury area? Who is injured? It is Bradford, our top ever goal scorer. Hasn't added one to his tally yet, Joe Bradford. And I just really, really hope it's not serious. Let's see whether he runs it off. Oh, that was a very, very good ball again by Larson. Good hassling from Francis. We're just really unlucky with injuries right now. Which is awesome. That's a that's a title win inside, but we sort of have missing areas, weak links that aren't exactly the world class Premier League winning title players that you notably uh, register, such as Larson, such as Gardner. Dembele's got it now. It's whipped in. Hall can win this, but he doesn't. Ericsson, good play by him, slick play, very slick play by Ericsson, I had to get it clear with Dan, I'm afraid he's still got that plaster by him, which isn't nice to see, now who to bring on, Duggar, Dugarry, Bentner or Murphy, I'd say, because Bradford is on the left forward position, which isn't his strongest position, I'm going to bring on Murray, um, left forward is the perfect position for him, and that is where he'll play, for the, uh, hopefully the, uh, the outcome of the game. Seem to be quite solid at the back, actually, which is rare. But I just think live coming, it is really difficult to break them down. But that is a chance now. Trevor Francis is through. This has got to be a goal if I want to win this game. And he hits the post. Francis has hit the post. That has got to be simply the best chance we've had all game. And it's just a silly, silly shot by Francis. He's got to be burying them. Such a prolific striker, the first million pound player. I've got to see him burying in them. I mean, for a million pounds, I just think he's not worth the money at the moment, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, it's quite ironic, but at the time, a million pounds was absolutely... that was It was top of its range, a million pounds was. Good chance for Hall to run. Has he got pace? He has. I'm not really sure whether I added pace onto him. I whipped it in. It was a chance. It's a goal. And guess who it is? It is Murphy, the substitute Murphy. And he gets his goal on his debut. Not even a full debut either. He came on as a substitute for uh, Bradford, of course, after he got his injury, Bradford. And he rises above everyone there. Completely takes out and floors the centre-back. Carl Walker's high foot. Well, that was odd. Um, and, well, just tried to... Completely spear Murphy, but it was a sweet connection with his head. He's buried it into the roof of the net, and Murphy has got us the goal that puts us 1 0 up here against Tottenham. That is a relief, a bit of pressure off our shoulders. Hopefully, we can continue from here on in. Ericsson on the free kick to chip it in. Granger reads it well. Oh, it's going back out! And he's offside! What's happened? Is that offside? Is it a foul? Is it offside? I'm not really. I'm not really sure what happened then. Um, I'm presuming it was given for a foul because it wasn't no offsides there. It was all a bit of a scramble. I just clicked clear as, as fast as I could and it was given for a foul. How about that? And it is half time. Of course, this is the first bit of a Birmingham action I've had since my last year FIFA 14 career mode, which is at the very beginning of, um, of FIFA 14. And, uh, well, apart from my 1,000 subscribers, especially, of course, where I did a nostalgic uh, back view on that. But overall, I think I've really enjoyed it, being able to play with Birmingham back on the channel again. Of course, it's the first time Birmingham have been under the licence of the Barclays Premier League um, for a while. And it, with the official screens, it makes it feel all so much closer. Only if in real life, eh? But we got a good win against uh, the Dons today as I'm recording this, so hopefully that is the sign of things to come. We are lacking wingers in this in this in this formation. I don't know whether it, it's quite working yet. Oh, I haven't got long to really test it out, but it, 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 I think it fits the team the best way possible because you get three out and out strikers. Although not all of them are playing in out and out striker positions. Of course, there's a chance for Tottenham here though, and kill Merrick, kill Merrick. 
Well, then again, any FIFA 15 goalkeeper, in fact, that is poor, I must say, from me on my part. But kill Merrick, you've got to be doing better there. I am sorry. I am really sorry, but that is poor. And I mean, yes, my defending was all a bit ragged. I was probably concentrating a bit too much, but he just sort of went down with his legs. Look, what? He, got, he actually got a touch on it. It sliced off the inside of the post, and somehow Chadley somehow manages to grive it in to the net. Bit of a shame. Um, 50 minutes in, it's 1 1 now. We need to get another goal. Because if we don't, then it'll mean we're guaranteed to not get one of the players that would be an extra boost to us. We'd have to decide which one that would be very soon. Forcell's done him inside. And again, Forcell, oh, he's tackled just a little bit too much on that touch there. It's a through ball. Tate's through! Tate! Oh my word! Hugo Lloris with a save, which was well of the top calibre, wasn't it? Superb save from Lloris, straight out of his locker to Gary on the cross into Tate! Interception, and maybe a counter attack is on. Murphy plays it in. It is Trevor Francis. He's got to finish this one, and he is the post again. But for Gary, oh my word, Lloris with simply one of the best saves of the season that could possibly be the save of the season. Absolutely brilliant save. Francis has hit the post again, though, which I'm not happy about. Is that it? That's the game. For God's sake, I think we deserve the win there, if I'm honest. I think we deserve the win. We had two post hits. Ah, man, we needed the win. That means one of the three unlockable players, gone. Immediately in the first game, gone. Unbelievable. Trevor Francis should have scored in that game without doubt. Dugarry on the rebound. That is a really, really poor. And Dugarry, I just think, I mean, Trevor Francis is to blame in the first situation. He he undoubtedly should have scored. I mean, I could have sweated it, but I think I had the confidence in the 92-rated striker. 92-rated striker to score, and he didn't. He just didn't. I think it's poor from, really poor from um, my point perspective from Francis. Hopefully, he'll improve in the next game. And well, do Gary on the rebound. He had his chance to shine. He had his chance to be the hero. The two substitutes could have been the heroes. Oh well, I suppose we have to pick ourselves up and move into the next game of this episode, which will be the simulated one against Sunderland. Right, so this is the team that we're rolling with for the next game against Sunderland at home at St Andrews. Or, in fact, I've actually renamed the uh, I've actually renamed the stadium to something like I don't know, Small Heath Arena or something in memorial to Blues' foundations, which was actually, of course, Small Heath. Uh, Small Heath Alliance, I think. I'm not, I'm not certain, but I know it was originally Small Heath or Small Heath Town or something like that. Something along those lines. Of course, it's hard to pick ourselves back up after getting lost. Uh, but at the Murphy scored, I'm giving him his chance there. Bradford is on the right forward position this time. Then we've got, oh, by the way, Bradford came out from his injury. Um, Govan is at right back despite being a left back because he is right footed. I'm not really sure which one he was. But I just decided to put him as right-footed and left-back for some reason. Don't really know why. Um, and and we've got a, a really nice team set up. Hopefully we can get a win here against Sunderland. But you've got to see the turning point of the last game. That chance with <laughs> Trevor Francis in the 83rd minute. We're currently sitting in 8th. But hopefully we can pick ourselves up the league here against Sunderland. So I'm going to put the control down. Just let the simulation play through. We are at home. We should win this game, undoubtedly. They've got the likes of Defoe in the team, but Gardner's got our, us our first goal against his club that in this universe he never played for. Francis has got a goal. That means he's off the mark for the season. He could really well be top scorer this year. He's the best striker in the Premier League, according to his rating. It is still 2-0. Would like to keep our first clean sheet. It is Gardner with a second. Get in there. 3-0. Should be a stroll in the park. There we go, that is that. 3-0, we win this game and we get another three points, which is nice to see. Of course, it's a shame that one of our players, of course, um, from our bench won't be upgraded or unlocked, if you like. And uh, what's that? 
Uh, Murphy's really happy that he played, which is good, good, good. We're now third, but with a game in hand on top. Chelsea, no team has kept a full uh, three out of three percentage apart from Man City. Chelsea haven't even done that. So only Man City have the 100% record yet. And they, of course, won all three of their games. So at the moment, it's looking okay. Um, we will see you in the next episode where our first game is against Man United. I really can't wait for that. Make sure you smash that like button down below in support of the series to help my channel out and to get and unlock the next episode as soon as possible. You hit that like button as quick as you can. I will get the next episode out to you as quick as I can. Which, trust me, at the moment, I'm really enjoying the series, so it'll be pretty soon. It'll be within a day or two, simple as. Maybe even a double upload one of the days. The more you hit the like button, the more I'll upload, simple as. And um, subscribe if you're new to the series, if you're new to the channel. I've got FIFA 16 content coming up as soon as possible. This was just a mini-series to round off FIFA 15, to really wrap up my FIFA 15 saga, which has been so successful, in my opinion. Hopefully, FIFA 16 can be even more successful. But for now, I will. See you next time.